Welcome back, everybody, inside of Cape Lorena. Glad to have you courtside and be joined by the Bronco head coach, Luke D'Alessio. Coach, congratulations on a uh, perfect week. You guys have strung together three in a row, five of your last six. And uh, if uh, if my memory recalls, I don't think you guys trailed once this week at home. You led oh, the yeah, whole way true. against Claflin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Start to finish today. You know, this was a, a night where St. Augustine struggled to shoot. You knew there'd be some averaging out in the second half. But what do you tell your guys when that uh, nothing's going right for that opposing team and you guys want to be able to just to kind of take it to the finish? Well, you know, part of it is that we're playing tremendous defense. You know, our scout report was really good on their individual players. And we stopped them from, you know, where they're comfortable doing. One thing they have to do to score points, they have to score in transition. Right. You know, and that's the thing that we stressed against them. No live ball turnovers and, keep, and make it a half court game. And usually if you make it a half court game, you know, we usually do pretty well. And we did a tremendous job rebounding. Yeah. So. Yeah, you guys uh, were uh, actually doubled them up in the rebounding statistics tonight. 38-19, so plus 19 on the boards. Caleb Simmons and Coleman, uh, they combined for 41 of your 63 points tonight. Uh, there's a nice complimentary uh, deal yeah. to their their style, right? Simmons down low, Coleman on the outside. Yeah. They play off of each other well. Yeah, for sure. And then they also, you know, um, you know, uh, Simmons can come outside and Caleb Coleman go inside. Mm -hmm. And then on defensive end, they can switch anytime there's ball screens involved in them too. I mean, they're really valuable. It's great to win a game where we didn't have to rely on Terrell Fletcher to score a lot of points, which, mm -hmm. you know, I like them to score a lot of points. Yeah. But it was great to see that other guys stepped up. Key was talking about it on the uh, the broadcast, but it's it's not only about winning games, but also when you win those games, getting right at the, the, the right time. And right now, you guys continue to climb your way up that South Division at this stage of the season, but we said that the, that the road schedule upcoming as well is going to give you four tough road games down the stretch. Right. But do you feel like the team is is coming together the way you want at, at this point in the year when the winning is most important? Yeah, because our defense is holding for pretty much you know, we gotta, we gotta we gotta tighten up under the turnovers. I think we had 22 turnovers yeah. today, yeah. And, and the other day we turned the ball over late in the game. But the thing is, see, what I, uh, the way I approach those away games, a lot of teams are struggling to win on the road, and for me, is this gives us an opportunity to have four away games and see right. if we can win some of those games because it seems like nobody's really winning on the road this year in our conference. All right, well, Coach Luke, thanks for uh, joining us at the table. Congratulations on another victory. And uh, now let's go ahead and send it courtside where Coach Alfonso Key is with our player of the game, Caleb Coleman, in his big 23-point night. Alfonso? I'll tell you what, another great game and um, very efficient scoring night for you, Mr. Coleman. I tell you, you hit big shots when they were needed. Um, big time, outstanding shooter. So just ask me about not only yourself, but how Fayetteville State has more than one or two guys that can score any time, any night. Man, it's, it's crazy, especially how Coach Luke put us together. Yeah. And we have, I can honestly say, maybe five, six people that can easily Absolutely. be scoring double digits. So it's good to have that on your team, but yeah. it's even better when you know how to work it together and win games with it. Well, very impressive when you know how to step up. Now, great run at home, um, very formidable team, playing well. Um, how do we continue this hot streak at home carried it on the road. How have you played the same way on the road and get some wins in the South AA Southern Division? Well, regardless of home or away, we always say all we got is us. Yeah. So either we in Capel or on the road somewhere else, all we got is us. And if we come with that same mindset that play for us, win for us, that's our success on here and the road, really. Outstanding. And you being a veteran, having great regular season play, what do you think is added uh, for CIAA Conference Tournament play. What do you need to do as far as ramping up to compete for that championship? Really, we need to stay on course. You know, we I believe we have three in a row. Yep. We just need to keep doing what we're doing, you know, on practice, coming up, showing up, working hard every day. And really, that translates to the game. Uh, you know, we have phenomenal defense. We yes, just got to keep up with that. We struggled a little bit in the first half with scoring, but our defense is what held them to nine points. Well, I tell your head coach be so proud of you talking about defense and came on the road. Well, best of luck. I'm not surprised. You're an outstanding young man. I know your wrist is probably sore for those deep shots uh, you're making, but keep up the great work. Look forward to seeing you on the road getting it done. Great job appreciate tonight. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you. Outstanding. All right.